Welcome to Bible Vlog. My name is Philip Fisher. Today is February 10th, 2010. It's pretty snowy here, and unfortunately, I had to go to school. I braved the, the weather, though, and made it safely, so it's all good. God protect me. Anyways, today we're going to be reading Acts chapter 10, verses 34 through 48, just the rest of Acts chapter 10. And uh, it talks about the Gentiles and um, Peter's revelation with them, so it's pretty awesome. So, here we go. Follow along in the sidebar, please. Then Peter replied, I see very clearly that God shows no favoritism. In every nation, he accepts those who fear him and do what is right. This is the message of good news for the people of Israel, that there is peace with God through Jesus Christ, who is Lord of all. You know what happened throughout Judea, beginning in Galilee, after John began preaching his message of baptism. You know that God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and with power. Then Jesus went around doing good and healing all who were oppressed by the devil, for God was with him. And we apostles are witnesses of all he did throughout Judea and in Jerusalem. They put him to death by hanging him on a cross, but God raised him to life on the third day. Then God allowed him to appear, not to the general public, but to us whom God had chosen in advance to be his witnesses. We were, there, we, were th we were those who ate and drank with him after he rose from the dead. And he ordered us to preach everywhere and to testify that Jesus is the one anointed by God to be the judge of all, the living and the dead. He is the one all the prophets testified about, saying that everyone who believes in him will have their sins forgiven through his name. Even as Peter was saying these words, the Holy Spirit fell upon all who were listening to the message. The Jewish believers who came with Peter were amazed that the gift of the Holy Spirit had been poured out on the Gentiles too, for they heard them speaking in tongues and praising God. Then Peter asked, Can anyone object to their, bapti to their being baptized? Now that they have received the Holy Spirit just as we did, so he gave orders for them to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Afterward, Cornelius asked him to stay with them, for several days. I really like the line where um, it said that Peter realized, he said, I, I see very clearly that God shows no favoritism and that in every nation he accepts those who fear him and do what is right. We need to realize that, you know, as Christians, to not think that we're better than other people, but to realize that God shows no favoritism, but that to anyone in any nation that fears him and does what is right, is a believer and is one of our brothers and sisters. Regardless whether they, they're, they're Islam, they look like they're Indian or whatever, and like people segregate against them quite often, put harsh judgment upon them. If they fear God and do what is right, then they're one of us as well. I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and I'll be seeing you tomorrow. Bye-bye.